Jim and Rebecca married and moved to the big city. But after having four kids, we decided that wasn't for us. So we traded in our house for a 36 foot RV and a piece of raw land. Now we're taming this mess and creating a homestead. It's been an incredibly busy couple of weeks here at The Mess. Jim is steadily improving and feeling the need to use this time off of work wisely to get as many projects done as he can. Last week, you saw one that he finished. Let me quickly show you a few more. Here it is. The kids are gonna flip out. I got a slide, commercial grade, plus all this playground equipment from this, uh, this customer of ours, all these poles. So I can, I can set them up with the playground and use the extra poles for stuff. And then I got all my van loaded down with stuff too. So it's gonna be nice. This is my film boy, my cameraman. Hey, take, take a video of me. What did we get, bud? A giant slide for our tree house. Yeah. God bless us with a professional slide with a bunch of other equipment too so we can make you guys the awesomest playhouse you've ever seen. Uh-huh, I'll show you guys the hardware. That's the hardware. <laughs> Triangle, a bunch of hardware. Okay, we got all the boxes laid down. That way we can put the posts and then stuff won't grow up in between them. So, looks good. Who's that good looking girl? See, she knows. All right, I'll put the pallet there. What you doing? All right, so, okay, we have this tank that we got from a friend. It's full of propane, which is awesome, but we have to get it to our system. Here is our system. It takes these small tanks, which, you know, taking showers, using our stove, they run out quick. So I can unhook this and hook it to here, but then I need a fitting that goes from this female to a male here, or a female here. So I can plug this in and I can run the hose. And what I wanna do, so this tank doesn't fall on one of the kids or anything, I'm gonna put it right here on a, on a block. So I've got 16 inch blocks. And I have another one of these as well. I have to get it recertified and then I can fill it. We'll have 200 pounds of propane and we won't have to keep changing these out every five minutes. So that's what we're gonna do today. What are you doing? That's what I was about to ask you. What are you doing? I'm trying to cut these posts at an angle. Uh-huh. Cause what you gonna do on them? Well, we wanna pull this flap over uh -huh. and the flap gets caught. So if I cut them at an angle, it'll hold the flap down. So that way the water channels that way and doesn't stay up under this flap and hold a bunch of leaves and crap All right. under the flap. And we're planning on putting the light fixture. And fix. tree sap too. Light fixture. Oh yeah, and we're gonna put a light fixture right here. I have one from, that I found, and I've had it for years and just um, finally been waiting for a spot to put it. Well, we have a spot. I tried to throw that thing away so many times. Good thing you didn't. Ah. Uh. Now what are you doing? Putting this up. Well, what's that going to be? Ah, <gasps> we will have light. Yes. Yeah. Huh? Daddy. Did you did you ask Daddy what I'm doing? Say, Daddy, what are you doing? Okay. Say, what are you doing? I'm doing. Daddy. Your hair's all sticking up. How come your hair's all sticking up? It's all sticking up. Yes. Ow. Uh, ow, why is ow. it ow? You're so cute. 
All right, so what we're gonna do, I filmed this already once, and now I have to film it again because my head was completely cut off. So you wanna hold that? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix the trampoline. Um, the person that gave us this trampoline, it had gotten blown over in the wind, so a couple of the poles got bent. I tried to bend them back and they just, you know, they were held up okay, but I was kind of worried if the kids hit them or something, if they would break. What I did was I found a trampoline on uh, Marketplace for free. Uh, the guy was like, hey, just come get it. Um, so I um, went and took it down. Shout out to Brandon um, for letting me get it. Uh, my buddy Bill came by um, with his truck and pulled our trailer and we were able to go grab that and the other playground equipment, which is awesome. You'll see some of the photos of that. But um, these poles are real easy and I'm gonna do a real quick tutorial of how to change the poles with my assistant. Are you my assistant? Yeah. See, this one is like damaged here. It's got the bend. And also there's one missing. There's a missing pole on this side. So we wanna put that back up that way our thing stays up like it's supposed to. Jim wasn't the only one doing projects. Between homeschooling and housework, the kids and I made time for some crafting. Our rocks had finished tumbling and we were ready to turn some into jewelry, just in time for a friend's birthday. to a birthday party right yes and you've got a matching necklace that we made in matching wrapping paper that she made with our beautiful tillandsia plant that we made yeah you think she's gonna be happy with that yes okay so hear me out no i always come up with these ideas and rebecca's like i don't, I don't turn, like this turn the fan off Rebecca's like, I don't like this idea. And then usually she likes the idea. Here's what we have. We have a problem. It's very hard to wash your hands um, in the sink. It's just like you're bumping this thing all the time. This has helped out a lot, but this needs to be raised up a little. And, and also we have water here all the time. This is always wet and it drips down that way. Because when kids wash their hands, they, they grab this when their hands are just freshly wet. So the water drips down. Well, I've seen this thing on Amazon that is a mat that goes underneath this and it, it's got like a high edges and it makes the water go back into your sink. Our only problem is the sink sticks up. So I wanna grab a, a piece of cedar and match it to this sink so it goes to the edge, maybe like that. And then that mat will sit on top and it will raise this up and make it easier to get your hands into there as well.
And that's just the projects from last week. I can't wait to show you what he's gotten into this week. Someone get this man a job because he just can't stop working. You don't see the fish? Yeah. Where are you, fish? Um, they're there. <gasps> yep, there they are. No. You see some more fish? Welcome to the mess. Where God takes our mess. And makes it his best. Yes. All right, so let's see if I'm even in the shot. Sure. Okay. Can you do this? All right, so what we're doing today is we're gonna do.